Skype is a little video for those of you who are interested in some of the stuff I'm actually studying. There's my two physical Dell servers that I run all of my call manager software on, my voicemail, UCCX, so on and so forth. Here's all my hardware. Just yesterday I brought home this little guy right here. It is a Cisco 2911 router and it has a PVDM3 module in it. Those two parts combined, that, that little box is worth probably about $6,000. Uh, and you can see up here I have my four, or not four, three Cisco video capable phones. Uh, they don't need this 2911 to do video conferences between the two of them. However, I have now configured this so I can do a video conference bridge where all three of these guys could uh, have a conversation with video. Now, phone number one is considered to be a headquarters phone. It would be on the Pacific Coast in, uh, in the Pacific Standard Time time zone. Uh, phone number two is part of a separate, actually that's phone number two over there, it's part of a separate cluster, it's considered branch one, and it would be on the east coast, uh, in, you know, uh, difference of three hours time zone. Finally, I have a backbone phone in the Cisco lab. This would be part of a, uh, cluster that is, uh, not accessible, basically I interact with it, but I have no ways of modifying that cluster, so um, this would just be a phone that, you know, it, it's kind of like if we had a trust between another company and we were able to do video conferences between them. Um, there's a lot more to this setup, but obviously this is the fun part of this lab. So I'm going to show you a video conference in this design. So I'm going to first place a call to my Branch 1 phone. And there it is, uh, right there. Okay, and that, since they are both configured for video, they both just immediately start in video. You can see here, you know, I'm waving in the camera on the other side, and now I'm waving into the camera on the other side. They can both see each other. So, now, the person in the headquarters now wants to add in a person in the backbone, so he is going to start a conference call with a little, you know, multiple people button. Dial the number for the person in the backbone. That phone is now ringing. I'm going to answer that as well. These two guys would now have a video call going between them. And then finally, I'm going to hit this little button right here that says conference to join them all together. And pop, pop, pop. They're all in the video. Now, what's very interesting about this design is the 2911 router there is now in control of the call and it's it's uh, handling the video feed from all three phones and then passing back the video that it believes is the most important video. Uh, anyways, these phones are essentially hearing my voice and deciding which one is mo the most likely person that's talking at the time and activates those cameras. You can kind of see it flash back and forth. They're, they're, all these phones are muted right now, so... Um, they can hear me, but there is no actual output of noise. That way they don't start you know, a long uh, echo relay. Anyways, here's, here's a good demo. So you see these two are alive over here. They obviously think the phone on the left is the person talking. So now I'm going to show these two phones. Test one, two, three, test one, two, three. And you can see, pop, they're both now showing me off the right phone. Test one, two, three, test one, two, three. And pop, both the phones on the right are now working, but right and left are working. So that is a video conference call, and this can be yours for the low, low price of probably a quarter million dollars.